Hey guys, it's Sasuke here, and welcome back to Nuclear Throne! So, last episode we almost had the double loop in the daily. I was super excited. We don't know our uh, stuff because, I mean, they're glitched right now. So, this is the same daily as it was before. We're not going to do it again. That would be cheating. The weekly, however, we could mess about again if we really wanted to. Um, I mean, I kind of do. But I kind of want to try hard mode, but I mean... In my off time, when I've tried hard mode, I have been wrecked. Hashtag Rigby wrecked. I've gotten, I've tried, um, just about every character in hard mode. It's, what the? <laughs> this guy is Neo. I've tried just about every character in hard mode, and all of them have been, uh, about the same result. The furthest I've been is with melting. I've been to, uh, 3-1, which was, like, it felt almost impossible to get to. Because you have to kill, uh, Ball Mom. And God, that is so difficult, man. Like, Jesus. When you're on first loop weapons and stuff, killing mom is so hard. I don't know why. I, I, I guess it's just the nature of things. But she has so much HP. Desk gun. Not really my cup of tea, but thank you. I don't know why I say that. I don't drink tea. I drink coffee. So, it's not really my cup of coffee. It just doesn't roll off the tongue, though, does it? Maybe it's just because I haven't heard it very often, I don't know. So, this is going to look pretty much identical to the last run because if you guys do remember in our last episode, the weekly that we did, it was 100% my fault why we lost because, um, if I would have just played better, it would have been a better weekly, is pretty much what I'm trying to get at. Because we had the almost the perfect setup um, to get really far, we died on 7-2 right before the throne. Which isn't a uncommon theme because 7 2 is really, really hard now. Like, I would say it's a hundred times harder than like any of the other levels at this point. Because I can. If I have the weapons and the strength to get to Technomancer, I normally beat Technomancer. If I have the strength to get past the very first bit of 1 3, I normally have the strength to get a lot further. But, the, uh, the, the guys throwing off the triple balls, it's kind of just like a shot in the dark at this point. Sometimes they will shoot one pair of triple balls, giggity. Um, sometimes they'll shoot like upwards of three is probably the highest I've seen of the triple ball setup. And when they do that, you're just boned. Like, it makes dodging so much more difficult. Double shot. And this is what we took last time. Um, I didn't really like it. It kind of cut off our path later on in the game because we never got an upgrade for it, which is uh, something that you know, you never want to happen. You always want to be striving to have your early game weapons be good enough to carry you, but you also want to strive to not have them too good to where you'll never find an upgrade and always be stuck with that weapon. Because sometimes you'll get the too good to use syndrome where you'll find one weapon that is so godly. Say you find a plasma cannon on, you know, I don't know, 6-1 or something, and then you carry that plasma cannon to like loop 2. And then, at that point, you should probably just shut up and upgrade to the Super Plasma Cannon if you have the the ability to <laughs> sustain it, right? But a lot of people will be like, well, this has done me justice over the past loop or two. I should probably just keep it. And that is actually just the wrong mentality have, to have. Because I know sometimes guns get sentimental because they've, you know, helped you a lot or whatever. But you can't let that get in the way of the future, right? Just because the gun has done me good. Like, the crossbow has helped me out a lot all the way up to here. But just because it's been good for me doesn't mean it's always going to be good for me, right? It's going to be times when it's just not cutting the uh, bacon correctly anymore. Which is by a knife. It's not bringing home the cheddar. It's not, you know, whatever the hell you want to say at this point. But it's not doing it good enough. And we're going to need an upgrade. That doesn't mean the weapon's bad, that doesn't mean that, you know, it's not strong enough, even though sometimes that is the case. It's just like, I don't know, that you can't use a weapon forever, as much as we'd probably like to. There's even sometimes in the late game where you'll uh, overvalue weapons that you've had for a long time, like auto crossbow is one that I do almost perpetually. So we don't have the ability to really make use of shotgun shoulders, but I'd love to have a shotgun shoulder centric run. So... Let's try this on for size. Okay, we got our um, We have the long range and we have the short range. Is that what I think that is? Yes. Ow. He just he just deflected all those shots on our face. By the way, if you're wondering how we took 999 damage instantaneously, 
I remember this fight being really annoying because Big Dog is in like the perfect position to block the shots of all those guys around him. So in our daily, we actually found the super flat cannon, but we didn't have the um, necessary utensils to facilitate sort of the use of that going forward because we didn't have shotgun shoulders, and shotgun shoulders is like one of the primary things that you want to have, right? He just wrecked our face. <laughs> That's the problem without having, uh, what is that? What am I thinking of? Let's try hard mode. We're gonna die. A lot. Um, if I had to think about a character that would get me far, we could get faster weapons with robot. Of course, have his B-skin. Uh, we could go eyes. He's pretty good. Melting is decent, but I'm thinking maybe we go curse chest on, um, The main problem is, like, there's just so much shit going on in the beginning that if you don't get a decent spawn, like, you're probably going to die, right? It's kind of just a case of the not good enough syndrome. Um, sometimes you have stuff that is so good that it almost can't be beaten, and then sometimes you have runs like this where you start out with, like, shite weapons in uh, a later game scenario than they're meant for. Because this is already loop one, pretty much. We're going to try our little heart out, though. I, I'm not going to be giving up anytime soon. That's another problem is ammo. If you don't get an early rabbit spa, because there's a lot of enemies here. You'll see if we get past this first level, we're already, like, really far in. The kill amount that you would normally have here would not be this high. The IDPD, man, are so difficult this early on when you don't have very good weapons. Um, things I have noticed that are really, really good, um... The ability to knock corpses around with impact wrist is almost invaluable. Sledgehammer. Ooh, that's not bad. Yeah, sledgehammer is amazing. Or not amazing. Uh, impact wrist is amazing. We didn't get very many levels at all. So this is a hard one, because snare is good, uh, strong spear is good. But rabbit spa is going to keep us alive longer if we survive this initial beginning. Like I said, the beginning is literally the hardest part of the whole thing. Because there's a very high likelihood you won't get a good spawn here, and you'll just die because of it. Like this, we're going to have to push over here into the side area. Kind of hope that we get defended. There is a golden scorpion out there, which is our worst nightmare. Alright, that's a little bit better spot for our uh, snare. There is this now. And yes, you can get shielders on your very first and second level, by the way. Had to happen, it's a nightmare. There's the ammo problems again that we were talking about. It's it's real bad. And you're gonna miss a lot of XP just because you can't afford to go out and grab it. Like this is a nightmare. I think you kind of just have to get pretty lucky on your weapon drops and hope for them to be plentiful. Rabbit's Paw is helping quite a bit. It's keeping us not like 100% healthy, but more healthy than we would be without it, right? Okay, this is the, um, the hardest part is coming up. We don't have very much ammo. Uh, we have double bosses we're gonna be fighting here in a minute, and these bosses don't—they don't f around. Energy pistol, kinda, or laser pistol rather, kinda have to. We're level three at least. The laser brain could be invaluable. We're already 300 kills in. Now this is an area. Look at this spawn though. Yeah. So that happens a lot more than... Th that was a good run, by the way. If you're wondering, like, what are the scales of good and bad runs, that was a godlike run, actually. You don't get those runs very often at all. So you should... These are more like the runs you normally get. I'm not to say that that was necessarily a great run. Like, I think we probably shouldn't have taken the crossbow. It's just not good enough at this point in the game. Alrighty. 
pretty decent, decent stuff here. Ow, we took a hit though. That guy like shot at the very last second when we were in front of him. Okay. We've hit level two. We have that ammo. Things we want here, everything. <laughs> right? I mean, we just want a bit of everything. We kind of are forced into the strong spirit, which is like the one of the things you don't want to do is be forced into something. You gotta admit that dodging was great until the end there. Oh no, we're dead. Uh. Hmm. Okay. I knew nightmares were a thing, but uh, I didn't know they would be this close to home. There is no surviving! There is no life! We're out of ammo. <laughs> There's just so much stuff to kill, man. I, I don't know. Uh, oh, not normal. Not quitting. Oh god, what am I doing? Hard mode. Maybe crystal. Maybe crystal would be nice. Some of those times when you think, oh man, if only I could survive here, I bet I could do a lot better. Maybe we'll be able to get that with Crystal, right? He has his right click, which grants him a large survivability bonus to 99% of the other characters. Of course, it's still not good to put yourself in the position where you have to use it constantly like that, but... Ah, those... I hate these guys that shoot, man. They're so annoying. That's why the early uh, impact wrist is like, it's not essential, but as essential as it's not, is as much as I would love it, right? If that makes any sense to you. I think we gotta get rid of that. It's a lot of damage, but the amount of times we're gonna get to actually use it, it's pretty low. There's another one. Alright. Almost out of ammo, which makes me nervous. There's a lot of riffraff in the early levels, which kind of like lowers your ammo by a lot because I need that ammo though. Like I don't think you understand the importance of it. Kind of have to go with the shotgun here. Mm, okay. I mean, we have a we have a decent number of shells. Uh, impact wrist would be the above all best pick here. There is no impact wrist. There's a stress, which might be nice. There's a plutonium hunger, which would be good for gathering the rads that we kill from far away. And I think it's going to be the best thing we're going for here. Okay. Yeah, that was... There was jokers to the left and people to the right. Here I am, stuck in the middle with you. It was pretty much the summary of that seed. Like I said, it's pretty hard to infiltrate these areas and take out the key targets that you want to kill because there's just so much. Like, how many times have I clicked for that little segment alone? And we also got the extra, what, 64 rounds from the very beginning here? So we kind of, maybe we just need to use our right click a bit, a bit more for defensive reasons. Oh. I mean, it is getting kills, of course. I think rushing is something that you could definitely make a big mistake in here. Whereas normally you'd feel pretty confident rushing in these earlier levels. Right now, you just can't. <laughs> Uh, lowering the HP of enemies sounds like the best thing I've ever heard of, to be 100% honest with you. This looks like an amazing spawn. That is literally the worst thing I have ever seen. Oh my god, I need that health, even though I lost the health to gain one health. He's dead. 
Good stuff. Oh, I killed myself. No. <laughs> that was the one, baby. That was it. That was my life right there. Welcome to my life. Oh, my back. Oh, old person moment for a second there. Don't talk about it. Oh, hi. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down. Calm down. It's fine. Why are you always gotta be so serious? Um. Maybe this is the answer. Maybe long arms is the answer here. Oh, that one hit me. Oh, he hit me, son of a bitch. There's just so much crap, man. You remember when you could just hold the, um... Pepperidge Farm remembers? No. Do you remember when you could just, like, infinitely be in your crystal form? Now that's what I, I need for hard mode, to be 100% honest. That would make my life. Remember when you could hold down your right click forever as Crystal? Pepperidge Farm remembers. I mean, it gave us the option, why don't we try it? It kind of requires a decently safe spawn to do, and this is not the worst spawn I've ever seen in my life. Scarier face is something that we would be very proud to have and to see. This is going to be a very slow and methodical play. I had to guess. This is literally the best spawn I've ever seen in my life. If if this was how hard mode always was, like I would never complain. Because this is like the easiest I think I've ever seen. Oh, we took damage now. IDPD done. Quite nice. Okay, there's a triple. We should just be able to. Oh no! Oh, he charged us! Oh my god, he just charged us like a man! He took us down! He didn't even give a frick! I think that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. If you guys like to hit that like button, I mean, I'm gonna keep working on hard mode. I'm gonna try to get better, but you guys can see the chaos that's hard mode. Like, it's not easy, and it doesn't get any easier. Well, actually, technically, it does once you get better weapons, but that's aside the point. Anyway, if you guys like to hit that like button, show us appreciate it. Seriously, let me know you're enjoying it and all that good stuff. If you guys did enjoy it, consider leaving a comment down in the comment section below. I read and respond to every single one. Tips and tricks would be greatly appreciated because, I mean, I may be a decent player where I can get to loop to it like once in a blue moon, but I'm not a great player by any means. So if you have any tips or tricks, that would be fantastic for me to hear about. I'm kind of thinking Robot for our next video might be the one we try. If we even do hard mode, I don't know. It's kind of something I'm going to put on the back burner so I can cons consistently at least get to Bull Mom or something. Because... I mean, I know that doesn't sound too far away, but it could be pretty far away. Anywho, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Recommend it to anybody who may be interested. And I hope you guys have the most amazing day in the whole damn world. See you guys.